Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be adventuring with Agricraft and Mystical Agriculture. All right, guys, welcome back. We have a lot to go over. Um, I spent a lot of time building. So, as you can see, we're on a server. Um, so all of this was uh, done by hand, no creative, everything done just plain vanilla. Um, I used pretty much all vanilla blocks and um, did that for a simple reason. Because we might use some chisel later on to make this thing look a little bit more fancy. But as you see, I just added some decoration blocks. Made this guy look pretty neat. Um, I got a crop over here. We're going to be dealing with this today here soon. Um, I did not move my uh, my smeltery though. That's the only thing that I haven't touched yet. So we're going to work on uh, that possibly today. Um, we're also going to work on getting some more seeds made. Because we need some more seeds. I think I'm going to not use Agricraft though for the seeds. That's probably going to be an issue, is uh, the Agricraft uh, seeds. But this right here does make water, apparently. Right here, it also makes this guy, which is used for these watering cans. But we don't have to make that kind of watering can right now. Because we can make, um, a, we're pretty much given a watering can down here in the crops. So just having the sprinklers, which we're not going to use this either, because apparently this is pretty glitchy right now. But we get an Inferium water can, watering can for that. So I don't know exactly how this works. It looks like it does one at a, one one spot. So it'll do one crop at a time, pretty much, which is is okay, I guess. Um, but we can't use any of these seeds, so we're probably going to make new seeds because these are Agricraft seeds for right now. I, I don't know. I may do Agricraft, but uh, I don't know. It's going to give us more in the long run if we do. But I'm having problems with these sticks and everything, like they're not textured right. I think maybe the texture pack is causing that problem. Um, but you never know. It, it, it's all kinds of all kinds of crazy here. <laughs> but uh, I spent a lot of time today with uh, System Collapse, pretty much talking and stuff, and uh, we had some good times. He he built him he built himself a uh, a nice little uh, windmill over here. I think that looks kind of fancy, doesn't it? Kind of snazzy over here. But it does look pretty neat, and uh, I kind of like it. But yeah, I went ahead and built all this over here. I think he's yeah, he's right over there. He's probably wondering what am I doing? Um, but yeah, I here's a nice little uh, kind of view of what this little structure looks like. This is gonna be our base for right now. Um, I still have a bit to, a bit of work to do. I'm kind of trying to fit everything in here. Um, there's our pad for our crops and stuff that we're fixing to have. That whole area may turn into a big crop area. I don't know. I don't know. It all depends. This whole area could be turned into a crop for all I care. Um, but like I said, we cannot plant these until we have, uh, unless we're using crop sticks. So I think we're going to make some new seeds. So that's something that we can go ahead and start doing. Um, I don't know. I think all the seeds we can pretty much make. Um, I think we have access to all of them. So some good seeds to probably make right off the bat would be, you know, the water seeds wouldn't be too bad. Um, getting some inferium seeds would probably be a good thing too. And tear that puppy up so we can get more out of it. Uh, making some stone seeds wouldn't be bad. Uh, we do have a bunch of these crafting seeds. Um, I did move my storage here, so we have a storage system set up. Um, I plan on doing something with this later, so hopefully you guys stick around for that. I do have a, still a bunch of blocks in here um, that I don't want to put in there quite yet, but that'll all happen eventually. And then, you know, we got all of our food and stuff like that down here. Stuff that I just don't want to mess with sorting yet. <laughs> Really simple stuff. Okay. So, getting some of these seeds. Uh, we have some more seeds. These are all unidentified seeds. And we get this essence. I think I just got some more essence from this. Um, I gotta figure out where that actually come from, though. There's a whole bunch. I think it's essence. This right here. So, we have a whole system here. Of essence. Right here is this one that we need to complete. Okay, we get a loot bag for that. We get another loot bag for that one. And we just got the water reward, so we get more water essence. That's awesome. Um, what is this? Okay, so nature. Make some nature seeds. So we're going to make all of these. So nature, wood, essence, ice. Ooh, that maybe we can get packed ice this way. Um, dirt and stone essence. So we're going to work on all of those. I think I have the crafting seeds still. I don't know where I put them, actually. That could be an issue. Actually, they may be in this chest. Yeah, they're right here. Okay. So I do have them all. 
So we have eight of those. So let's go ahead and make the stone one. So I think it was one piece of stone, right? This is used to make stone essence. Where is it at? Stone. So we need four stone, four inferium. Okay. And four of that. Okay, so we can throw that all into our alloy smeltery. Make sure it's at the alloy mode. And bam. That should cook up really fast, and we get ourselves a stone seed. Um, now, we can make these things grow faster. Now, there was, I think, growth pulsars. I think they're called pulsars. Right? Uh, what are, what exactly are they called? Growth accelerators? Ah, they're called growth accelerators. Okay, so yeah, I see these are kind of expensive. They require superior essence. And this essence. So, we'll need to make these stones to be able to do that. So, not quite there. I think that, uh... I think we'll work on that later. Hopefully getting some automation possibly so we can craft those a lot faster. But like I said, we have our, our little bitty can at the moment. Um, I would like to get the bigger one. This is a small range, a one by one range. So it's not going to be the fastest, but it will get us some some uh, progress pretty fast, I guess. Okay, so we're going to need some dirt. Dirt seeds. So that requires four dirt. Pretty much all of this. And four of those. Bam. And throw that in there. That'll get us another dirt. It'll get us a dirt seed. Let's kind of throw these up here. We kind of got a lot of go lot going on. What do we get through our common bags? Okay. Just food. Oh, this one gives us all kinds of goodies. We got pot soil. Throw that in there. Okay. And we have a bunch of stuff that I want to get rid of in here. Bunch of food. Let's get all this all this junk out of our inventory for now. There we go. Okay, so back to crafting. Um, we also need another seed. Uh, that would be a nature seed, which requires these nature clusters. Cactus is something that we don't actually have, I don't think. Um, so, getting cactus. Uh, there is some new tools that were added over here, so... 99 uh, came over and he uh, gave us all these tools that spawn in with you whenever you start the server or start up a new pack. So this stuff was in here. Um, the nature's compass, I've used this before and it is pretty neat. Um, so we can type in, or we can just search in here for desert right here. And then we can go search and it shows us up in the top hand corner if we're getting close. Um, there is one over here. It's not that far away actually. Um, I think my best bet would probably be to get... I'm going to need to get a... Uh, get my slingshot, wherever that was put. No telling. I, I probably threw that somewhere that I shouldn't. Probably my bag. No. You can tell I moved a lot of stuff around, by the way. do have a lot of stuff that was moved around. I think we just make another one. I have no clue where I've put, where I've put it. Um... I think it was just slime and, and a string. Uh, and a block, yeah. Bam, we can just make one of these real quick. So bam. Just like so. Let's just make us another one. I know I've already made them, but I had so much moving. You know how you lose stuff whenever you move between houses? If any of you guys have experienced that, yeah, I definitely have. And uh, that's exactly what happened here. Okay. So we should be able to travel a pretty good distance. And with this jetpack, I can kind of propel ourselves a little bit and get ourselves some more distance. And plus, you'll be able to see some of the server here. I know it's a little bit uh, a little bit laggy there, but that's okay. All right, let's go. So here's some of the mine colony stuff, by the way, that is going on. Yeah, we got some mine colony people over there. All right, so this says it should be right here. Here is our desert. Wow, not much of a desert here. Um, pretty big desert, yeah. Must say. Must say that got us somewhere. 
Uh, I think we need to find another desert, uh, one that's not close by. All right, so I ended up finding a desert all on my own uh, without the help of this nifty little compass, but we do have some stuff there. I think I'm gonna go over here so there's no mobs around. And I'll take me some of this cactus as much as I possibly can so I don't have to make it right away. Um, do have some visitors. Look at the, look at the spider man. He's wanting some, he's wanting some, ow! Oh, I'm generating new chunks, so... He's gonna be a little feisty here. Bam, we conquered, we conquered. We got him. No big deal. Ooh, there's a nice little thing there. Oh, there's some clay for us. That might be helpful later on in some builds. Must say, that'll be helpful later on. Look at that. I think it's a mesa biome. I think it's what it's called. I don't know. Well, there's a lot of mobs over here, that's for sure. A lot of mobs. Want to avoid those guys. They're going to come after us, that's for sure. Alright, let's see. Is there any more? There's a little bit more over here. I'll try and nab that as fast as possible so this creeper doesn't get me. And bam, I think we're good. I think we're going to be okay. What is this? Some kind of weird structure going on there. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head back and we should be good. So crafting these guys should be as easy as cake. I, I think it's probably a shapeless crafting recipe as well. Looks like it probably is. What does that give us? Cactus juice? Refreshing. That sounds really good, actually. Some cactus juice? No, it doesn't. It really doesn't sound that great at all. Alright, um, we should have all the stuff there. Bam! Now we have a nature seed. Even better! So nature seed... What was the other seeds that we were needing? Um, there's a, f a whole list of them. So dirt, uh, regular... Okay, so nature seed, the wood essence. I'm guessing, I'm just guessing, it requires logs. If I'm wrong, it requires saplings. Nope, it requires logs. Okay, so that one's done. So we're getting somewhere. What is the other one we needed? Uh, we already have the water. That one's already completed. Ice. So, how is the ice seed made? Ah, we need ice. So, we can get ice. Um... By... Using a silk touch pick. That's one way. Um... Snow inside of mana pool is another way. Starlight infusion is another way in the starlight infuser, which we don't have access to yet. That's later on down the line. Um, we could just go break some ice with a silk touch pickaxe, actually. I think making a pickaxe... I actually lost my pickaxe along the way, so... Um, making just a cheap iron pickaxe is not going to be that bad. And we should be able to make ice fairly... fairly easy, I should say. Um, so... Making a pick. Uh, I think just a regular iron pick would work. Even a stone pick would probably work. I think we could probably make a stone pick. Right? You know, I noticed the part builder does not work here. I have to put it in the front. Hmm. Don't know if I like that. Let's see. We would need a whole bunch of stuff, actually. All right. So ice may be put on the sideline. Let's go ahead and just get... Get all this stuff done. I think uh, ice is not going to be something that we're going to get right away. I think we could save that for later. Alright, let's go ahead and make ourselves a hoe. You know, the hoe, the kind of hoe ground with. And we should be good to go. Make a hoe so we can get on the go. There we go. A lot of goes in this episode. Okay, so we'll till this all up. You know what I miss? I miss uh, when you till ground. I miss worms coming out of it from Actually Editions. You know, I really love Actually Editions. That is such a good mod. It's probably it's one. It's in, it's in my favorites. It's a really good automation mod. Okay, so all that is done. I want to see how well this uh, this thing works. 
So we can plant our regular seeds. I would use Agricraft, but it's been a little buggy here recently. I know it's I know it's really good for doubling all of your stuff here, but I want to see how good this this watering can is. So far, it's kind of eh. That's at fourteen. You know, that's not that bad. Really isn't. Um, it does automatically saturate the ground though. Probably a better thing to have is the ground saturated. Okay, so this is going to take a little while. We're going to get these guys get these guys going, and I'll come back whenever they are all pretty much full grown. All right, so uh, they just all broke as I was watering them, but we did get all the essence from them. As you can see here, we got a few essence from each. Now this isn't the greatest, because as you can see, we only got one for each one. Now if you are doing agricraft with it. Which we can get started. I get, you know, I really do want to get Agricraft started with these guys. Because you get just you just get so much more from Agricraft. I don't know. I I'm kind of I'm kind of cross about this. Really cross about it. Cause I got this water essence, I got quite a bit of it from the Agricraft, just getting started with the Agricraft. Um so we can kinda get started with that. So uh we start with the Agricraft uh, research or analyzer, this guy right here, so sticks, um, some redstone, glass pane, okay, that's all simple stuff that we have, glass pane, three sticks, plank, two pieces of wood, right, see if I can remember this just from looking at it, I think I can, glass pane at the top, this, bam, seed analyzer, Sweet, we got a quest unlocked. What does that actually give us? It give us anything good? That was up here at the crops and cattle, I think. The seed analyzer gives us, ooh, 32 bone mill. That's not bad. I will take all that. Um, I don't think I have to worry about with the crops. I don't think worry, I have to worry about the, the rake or anything like that. So I think this will be fine. But we do need a bunch of crop sticks to even think about getting started with this. Where it, there we go. So we can make our crop sticks. Now the crop sticks do have a weird texture to me. They seem weird. Um, we can break these, get our seeds back. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. We'll take our seed analyzer. I tried to show this last time, but it kind of crashed on me. So we can take our seed analyzer, use it right here. This is what we're going to use to um, show our progression through here. Okay, so take our crop sticks and if you're going to duplicate them, you can cross them like that. But we only need one right here, and we just place a seed in it. That turns it into an agricraft seed. Um, I can even better explain this by going upstairs here. Don't mind the house. We haven't done too much to it. And I can show you these seeds. Because we do need the water seeds. Those actually come in handy. Um, and we can, we can analyze these, because these are all actually bunched together. And once, as you see, they say un unidentified. Now we see that it is growth 1, gain 2, and strength 1. And if we analyze these, we'll see that there's even more. And as you can see, it actually duplicates the seed, so we can actually get more from here. I think I'm going to end up doing, that, doing it this way. There's no reason for me not to do it this way. And this guy should work on this as well. Uh, actually, no. There you go. You have to shift. So that happens really fast. So that guy is fully mature. What we can do is if we want to duplicate this seed, we can put these here and using this should make it work a lot faster. So if we water this section right here, we can get a duplicate seed. And then you just break the crop, you'll get the seed from it, and then we can analyze these two seeds. Now, it looks like they're different. They didn't stack, so they're probably different and one of them has a little bit different. So this has growth, growth two, two, and two. This one's going to have something different. This is actually a pretty good seed to start with. And this one is going to have... Yeah, this one is junk. Junk, junk. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to take our crop sticks, place them here, put this seed here, grow this one to full full size, which looks like it doesn't take very... That doesn't take very long at all. Um, maybe I wasn't doing it right. Maybe I, I should have been holding shift because it looks like it works better when you hold shift. Wow, I don't know. Let's actually try this. Does the dirt seed work this fast? 
Let's get our watering can. Hold shift while we water. Look how slow this is. It doesn't grow very fast at all. Wow. Yeah, I think that it's something to do with Agricraft, so that's awesome. Um, this makes it even faster. And then we can see this one. And bam! As you can see, we already have a new crop growing up. Break that. This seed, that's currently in our hand, um, should be even better. Should be a... Growth, oh, it's a growth 2, growth 2, growth 2. Okay, so not bad. So what we can do is we can break this one, because I know that that one is not that good. So this is the growth 2, growth 2. So we should get something in here that, uh, in between here, that would be at least better than a growth 2, growth 2. Um, we actually need a chest, and I should go ahead and while we're doing this, upgrade and make ourselves an iron chest. So we're gonna need some iron. We're gonna need a chest. And I don't have any room for the chest. So let's go ahead and do this. Make an iron chest. We can throw these seeds away because we don't really need them right now. But we do get a reward for that. I'll go ahead and take that. The seed is going to... We're going to place all of our seeds inside this chest. Uh, all of our useless seeds. And then we can delete them later on as needed. So we'll just keep that in mind. And we can place our essence and stuff in here. I'm going to make this chest probably a diamond chest real soon. Just going to make life easier. Okay. So bam. We're getting all this done. A lot of agricraft stuff going on. But yeah, it doesn't take long. Look how fast this grows. And this is just a, this is just a two. And we're using the weakest can here. That, big, that has the smallest size. How crazy is this? This is, this is nuts. So let's go ahead and try this one. Bam. Automatically have a seed. It's a new seed. See what this size is. If we can just get a 10 by 10 on all of these, it would not be bad at all. So this is a 3x3. Three three. So let's see if we can't get a 3x3 three three again. By the way, if you shift click on the ground, it automatically plants this kind of uh, thing. The double crop stick. Bam. We already have another one. Alright. Let's see what this is. This is the unidentified. And let's see what shows up. So this is a 3-3-3, three, 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 or 3-3-2, three, three, or 3-2-3. Three, three. Not that bad, not that bad. I can actually go ahead and break these. And take our 3-3-3 three, 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 and a 3-2-3. Three, three, and we'll plant those. And we'll just keep repeating this process. I mean, until we have what we need. Okay, since uh, we're kind of working towards getting all this agricraft stuff done, I think our best bet is to move up to the tier 3. I don't see any reason why not to move to the tier 3. I don't think this gives you any tier 3 or anything like that. So, um, all, all this does is give you more of the essence that it, it creates. So, I think bumping up to this tier 3 that will give us a 3x3 three three range is going to be in our best interest. And making these ingots is not too bad. Um, and I hope I have enough to be able to make, so, make such a uh, thing. But we're going to need some of this, some of this, and we're going to need to make some base ingots here. Um, I don't know how many we actually need. So we need one, two, three, four. So I'm going to know, I know we need at least four regular ingots. And that's going to give us uh, four of the base ingots. And each of those are going to be upgraded. So we need regular Inferium Essence. So let's go ahead and get that. And that's just going to upgrade these guys to the next tier ingot. This is just the simple part here. And then we're going to need this stuff. Uh, which we can actually drop. Let's drop some of this down. Uh, we should be able to put this in here and it'll give us the other version back out. Because um, we're going to need four of those. Bam. Okay. So that gives us the 3x3 three three version. Now, we're going to need this guy, which requires a lapis block, which is not too bad. Let's actually get ourselves a lapis block here. And we'll use this. Bam. And we'll need some bone mill. And bone mill. And we're going to need another base ingot and a gold ingot. So let's grab a gold ingot. Another iron base ingot. 
Bam, that'll give us another base. And we're also going to need bone meal. Which we have a bit of in here, I think. Not, I don't think enough to complete this guy. But we should whenever this is done grinding it up. And we should be good to go. How much was... Oh, that was it. I guess sometimes you get more, sometimes you get less. Okay. So this one is that core. Now we need to upgrade that core. To that version. And we should be able to make this thing. I think we need this. And all we need is that water essence. Oh, my jetpack. Uh, it was charging. Or was charging. There we go. That's enough fuel. No big deal. Or enough electricity. Let's get our water essence out of here. And we need that water essence to make that core that all of them use. I guess it makes sense. Makes sense. And that's the base nugget again. So bam. This with the nuggets. That's all we need. And we make ourselves the core. And we should be able to make this guy. There we go. So we can go ahead and probably put that in a donation bin or something for somebody. Somebody to help them along, <laughs> along their path in this pack. But it's definitely not necessary uh, anymore. So I can kind of throw this guy away. Now we have the 3x3. Three three, which is more familiar to everybody. Because this is what pretty much every, every one I've ever used uh, is how it worked. So we can take all these nature seeds, you know, and we can place them all around. Just like that. And now, we can water these bad boys. See how fast they grow. I'm glad we can place them without crop sticks, because... If if without with the crop sticks they seem to to grow pretty uh, pretty fast or they seem to have some issues I don't know the textures on those crop sticks just seem really off to me and it's probably because of the texture pack I'm using but I do like the texture pack so yeah we're gonna we're able to get tons of this essence here and this stuff will let you get grass blocks which I'm not worried about now because I have ways. Uh, vines lets you get cactus, lets you get all this, look at that, pump or watermelon, potatoes, poisonous potatoes, beets, pretty much every vanilla, cocoa beans, everything we need that's vanilla based, we can get. Every sapling, which is really nice. Uh, nether wart, okay, that's later on. That's with the end stuff, okay. Yeah, this stuff is definitely use, useful, early game especially. So yeah, we've uh, we've got a bit done. Um, I got all those seeds, I just really need to kind of duplicate them and kind of get a bunch of seeds down here. I'm probably going to turn the whole basement down here, down below us, this whole area that's down here, into a farm. This whole thing's probably going to be a farm down here. I think I'm going to get rid of this up here and use this space for something else. And turn that whole bottom area into a giant farm for this stuff. Um, and since this can be placed like this, um, when it's just turned, like after you've upgraded, I guess it turns it back into the missile agriculture. Let's see, what's the seed? It says tier one unidentified. Oh. Are all these tier one? Uh oh. I bet that's what it does. As soon as you place them, it removes their, their stats. I bet that's exactly what it does. Yes, it is what it does. So yeah, if you do this, don't place your 10x10 down on the ground because it will ruin them. But you can duplicate them this way. So if you want multiple seeds, you can do so. Uh, later on, that may be helpful. Because these, you, can, you have to do manually. So you can't use a farmer. I don't think a farmer will work on them. They may don't know it didn't in 1.7 so may not now I don't know but we have a bunch of this already look 25 essence already it's quite a bit so we're doing pretty good well if you guys learned something from this please please don't forget to click that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up also down below there is a link to my discord there's also a link to this uh, discord for this pack um, if you guys want to check that out also I have a patreon uh, now, so if you guys want to check out my Patreon and kind of just give that a look-see over, see if it's something interesting to you there, 
uh, go ahead and do so. Also, there is a server for Patreons, and it is currently playing Divine Journey. So uh, if you guys are interested in that pack, it is on there and good to go. So, uh, like I said, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>